Hello friends, I am Dr. Meghna Dave and welcome to the YouTube show Health Q, the place where our aim is to boost up your health motivation. We try to create health awareness videos and we upload them every single Monday. So new here, consider subscribing. In today's video, I am going to talk about role of physiotherapy in management of cerebral palsy. The role of physiotherapist comprises of three important steps. Step number one is assessment. Step number two is the planning of treatment regime and executing it every single day. And third is coach and guide the patient throughout the journey of cerebral palsy. So step number one comprises of an overall basic assessment which comprises of history taking, assessment of muscle tone, Assessment of range of motion that means how much every single joint is able to move. Assessment of muscle strength. Assessment of muscle flexibility. How much the muscles are flexible? Are they tight? And if they are tight, they need to plan out for the treatment for that. Also, the ability of the child to do all the functional activities that is needed in his day-to-day -day task. Once the assessment is done, physiotherapists need to ensure that he repeats this assessment over and over again so that he can keep in check on how much is the level of improvement that is happening in the child. So once the assessment done, the next step is planning the treatment regime. The treatment regime or the plan of treatment is totally dependent on what exactly are the treatment goals. Physiotherapist forms subjective as well as objective goals for the patient. The treatment plan comprises of the exercise regime which involves positioning exercises, stretching exercises, strengthening exercises, functional exercises, etc. Step number three in role of physiotherapist is coaching and guiding the child and his family. Fortunately, physiotherapist gets an opportunity to spend very lot of time with the patient and his family compared to any other professionals. Mostly the physiotherapy sessions last from one to one and a half hour or also sometimes two hours where every single aspect of functional mobility is taken care of and exercises are done. Physiotherapist has a similar role as a sports coach has in his sports team. Physiotherapist along with cerebral palsy child and the family members plan and treatment regime and guides him and mentor him and work towards his overall goals which is totally focused on improving the quality of the life and preventing secondary complication. Physiotherapists also collaborate with different healthcare professionals in planning and treatment regime and gaining the expected outcomes. So friends, this was a brief about what is the role of physiotherapy in management of cerebral palsy. I hope you find this video useful. If you have got any queries related to cerebral palsy, do mention them in the comment section below. So thank you so much. See you next week. Bye-bye.